This is a United States patent for a foster care monitoring system that would verify visitations had the visitation from the caseworker to the family or the child, which in Colorado is monthly required, at least an hour, and they need to meet with the child and in the home and all of this stuff to make sure they're okay. Um, and that's about all the contact they have, really. Anyway. It depends on the case, I suppose. I'm too cynical, forgive me. Um, but I was just watching this city council meeting where they were discussing how here in Colorado, a child had died and the caseworker had been found to have been negligent or deceptive in her reporting on that case, saying that she had gone by the house, everything was fine, when actually she had not. and everything was not fine and the child ended up being murdered um so they're like wow how can we figure that out to make sure that these things are verified and this i think is a little bit over complicating the issue because this is a fingerprint capture device and i saw them kind of leaning towards that direction and i just want you to know people that it's not necessary to collect biometrics on every single thing just to verify it happened, okay? Um, and although this isn't a terrible idea, I really don't think that the children need to have their biometrics collected. They're innocent people in the whole situation and they don't have informed consent. Now, the people who are caring for them already have had their fingerprint taken, so I don't see a problem with that and the worker whatever but these children right we protect them we let the courts be completely closed to the public because supposedly we're trying to protect these children's privacy rights well they have other rights too like where it's to their body and informed consent they don't know what it really is to be giving over any kind of biometric data most people don't but definitely little children don't and this is unnecessary. However, the one simple thing, one simple thing, just like it would help in the schools if we would, anyway, when you go on any visit and every home visit, it should be required to record that visit. Because if you're checking to see if the home is safe, right? You should have documentation by a photograph and what better documentation that you sat down and you really addressed the issues than to have every contact videotaped. If you want to put cameras on anyone, put them there. Because these are foster families, right? Or their families being supervised. They already have given up their rights or they know limitations. They know people are going to be intruding in their house. And whether I agree or not, I do believe that that children who are left in the home where there's abuse going on, we need to document every single thing because so many times we hear. Um, the one that's personal to me, Chandler Gaffner, I met his mom after the fact, and it's, oh, it's, a, it's just heartbreaking. They went to the home, and they had to have known that something was wrong, but they're not held responsible because... It's so subjective, and when you go to court, you go, no, I didn't see anything, I didn't, you know. Well, if you have that videotape of every interaction, it first off shows that not only did you go, that you met with the people and that you talked to them, and you did the checks that you needed to. Now, the fingerprint alone wouldn't do that. It would just verify that people were there. We all have this capability on our smartphones, on our dumb phones, this is not something we would have to add extra funding into, except for maybe whatever storage is involved. And then when it comes down to it in a case that requires it, hopefully it won't be a tragedy. But if that were to arise, we can look at what happened and hold them responsible or clear them of any wrongdoing. If they went into the home and it looked perfectly normal and everything checked out good and we can tell because it's on video then we say you know they did their job to the best they could and some things are inevitable tragedies happen and you can't
foresee everything. Or we can say, no, that child should have been removed immediately, and that caseworker needs to be fired or criminal charges or whatever, because the kid was in a closet, locked up and starving to death, or not there, or whatever it is. So, just simple things. And if you are involved in any of these agencies, I suggest you just do it as a common practice on your own. Set the standard for everyone else to follow. And if you're a client, I would definitely turn on your smartphone, get a little a tripod, 20 bucks, maybe two bucks at a thrift store, and record every interaction. Because they will twist your words or they'll forget and they'll report things inaccurately. So just to have that accurate accounting is necessary. Okay? Um, because as we know, these people have too many cases, the case loads are so high. So my personal opinion is they could stop taking kids, but anyway, they choose a different route. So we need to at least ensure they're doing their job correctly. <sighs> so anyway, just another one of those stupid things where they're trying to weasel in some, some sinister stuff where it's not necessary. And you know it'll cost millions of dollars. Just turn on your little phone and record it. Much love. God bless.